I'm SirTapTap, and Abyssrium has another update coming for the fall event. And no, everybody does not have the update yet. So what Abyssrium does with events, I've explained this about five or six times now, um, is that they do these stupid slow rollouts. So people start getting like 1% of people will get the update. And then a couple days later, maybe 10%. And then by about a week, everybody usually has the update. There's absolutely nothing you can do short of finding a pirated APK and installing it. Um, and that's Android only, but th there's nothing you can do to legitimately obtain it earlier other than pure random luck. Absolutely nothing. Don't even worry about it. It's stupid. It's dumb. I hate it. I know. I really wish they would change it, but the thing is the fall event is out. I don't have it. People keep asking for a video and I decided whatever. I'll, I'll try. So, um, that's not quite. So here is the, the fish, somebody on Reddit. Um, BT, BTIU13041, what a wonderful, beautiful name, um, <laughs> has these pictures, and these are all of the fall fish. So there's a fall forest fairy fish, which is just fish made of leaves, which we kind of figured would happen. Uh, fall forest Dumbo octopus, which is a little, oh, sorry, it's not quite, there we go. Um... It has a nice little mushroom on its head. I don't usually like the Dumbo octopus ones, but uh, that one's pretty okay. The Fall Forest Ray, which is just Ray, but leaves. So that's nice. Um, star Sicklefish, which is just a more idol, but made of stars. I like the Constellation Fish, though. There's a Star Striped Marlin. Hint, you're gonna hate that one, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that, don't worry. The Light Jellyfish, which you're gonna hate that one possibly even more, but mostly about the same amount. Um, the fall football fish, which looks kind of okay. Star turtle, star dolphin, as, as expected, star ray, star ocean sunfish. And there's also a star whale, which is not included in these things, but I'm sure it looks vaguely similar to the other ones. There's also a fall forest whale, which let me see if I can get you a picture of that one. Reddit um, has been, uh, reddit slash r slash abyssrium is a reddit that I, I'm actually a moderator on. I don't use reddit too much myself, but uh, they find great information. Um, let me get you, uh, ah, oh, damn it. So, uh, I'm, I'm going to freaking delete this video as soon as I get the actual event so I can make a proper video. But, uh, cause I don't ha like I said, I don't have the update, but this is what it looks like. This is what the fall themes looks like. It looks pretty good. Um, I'm not too disappointed in this event, actually, after, after the train wreck that was last event. Oh, another cool fact. Um, the total cost of everything in this event is only 6,000 or 60,000 um, candies slash event currency, which is um, less than one fifth of the cost of last event. So they listen to feedback. Um, if you find something stupid in this game, please tell the developers. Um, they don't respond individually, which you know, you kind of can't at a scale of this, but uh, they do seem to dial back things. But, um, yeah, so, anyway, if you already have the update, let's just go right to the Hidden Fish, the main event. The, uh, as always, my written guide is updated before my other stuff. So, uh, here you go. So, Star Ray, decorate with cloud and moon theme, which is just buy all, every time there's a new event, just buy all three of the theme items in the custom palette, it'll save you some time. Um, so you gotta save, share the do Star Dolphin photo three times for the Star Ray. Um, use maple fashion dye and share pictures of fall forest ray three times. Um, and again, those are just in the palette menu when you close the main menu. Um, there'll just be a small amount of leaves that you have to pay. Leaves are the currency this time. I call them candy because that's what the first event used, but uh, it's all the same stuff. If you, um, if you played the anniversary event, all of your, whatever it was, cakes from that event turn into leaves for this event. Cakes turn into leaves. Isn't that a delicious mental image? Anyway, Star Striped Marlin, like I said, you're gonna hate this. First, you gotta watch ads 15 times for Maple Leaves. The other ad watches don't count. Then it says you have to take a picture of Star Striped Marlin. Um, so they'll appear on screen just like the regular Marlin. We know, it sucks. Um, I, I don't know if the devs just actively hate us. Um, I don't know if these like immediately appear after the, the 15th ad watch. Maybe it's not as bad. Like I said, I don't have the update. I haven't confirmed um, exactly how bad some of this is. But then the light jellyfish, you have to share pictures of the star set Marlin three times. <laughs> so that's just, that's just rude. Um, it does look like a nice jellyfish though. 
And then there's the star whale, which you have to own five forest whales, which if you note, the prices are way down compared to the previous events. The uh, star forest whale only costs 4,800. The, um, the big whale in the last one cost 20,000 and you needed five of it. It was, it was awful. Uh, f f five of last month's whale um, actually costs more than this entire event to get one of every fish. It's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, that's the fall event. Like I said, this video will probably self-destruct as soon as I get, um, I actually, ugh, Parker, please. Um, as soon as I actually get the event, I'll do a more proper video. Uh, I just kind of did this once people would stop yelling at me to do the thing. I, I think people just genuinely don't know that like, you know, cause the people, you know, join every time there's a new event. So they don't know that the events are always stupid and that they slow roll out because it's annoying. I really wish the developers would stop doing that because the only reason to do a phased rollout is so that if there's like bugs that you can stop the rollout and then fix them. Uh, but when Abyssrium gets bugs early in a rollout, they just roll out the final version with bugs to everybody and they fix it like two weeks later. They, th That's literally the only reason to do a staged rollout like this for a game like this and uh, they don't do it right. Uh, I, pff, I don't even know. On a bit of a less pleasant note, somebody stole my guide and uh, put it on the Google Play App Store as their own app. As you can see, it's just a straight up rip. Um, even with my wording, it's just, this is basically just a screenshot of my website. Uh, they used Adblock though, because you can see the little advertisements label, but not the advertisements. So that's nice. And as you can see the exact wording here, you can see my note that Abyssrium is a pretty buggy game. It's just straight ripped from my website. Um, <laughs> I can't believe that. So what they did is they took the ads out of my thing and they put their own ads. I just love that they, they there's, unbelievable. Um, I don't necessarily mind if you use Adblock, by the way, on my YouTube videos or my website, but I do ask that if you do that, um, it would be really great if you go to my Patreon, just patreon.com slash sirtaptap. And even if you just give a buck, that's uh, a month, that'd be fantastic. That really does help. Um, but yeah, they just straight up stole all of the content from my guide, put it into an app and uh, put it on the store and they put their ads on it instead of mine. It's also under sports for some reason. Uh, it hasn't been downloaded by a lot of people, but uh, I submitted a DMCA claim for it, which is the first time I've ever had to do anything like that. Um, hopefully this developer gets removed. This developer, all of their stuff is just stolen websites with ads slapped on it. Uh, it's a big old scam. Um, app stores are kind of notorious for this sort of stuff. Uh, Google is a little bit more lax, but they do remove stuff like this. So hopefully since I filed the report, it will get removed. Uh, it might even be removed by the time I replace this, this video with a higher quality one. Um, I wanna note that um, sirtaptap.com is the only place that you can rightfully you know, get and read my app. Just search sirtaptap abyssrium, you'll find it. Um, it's right here, it's got all of this stuff. I even put a note that it's currently an unauthorized app stealing my stuff. Um, what you can do if you want to use this like an app on your phone, um, not everything supports this yet, but if you go to the little ellipsis menu in a modern like Google phone, there's this thing that says um, add to home screen. I think iOS does this too, yeah? Um, and you can add it like an app and it'll load up my website. And my website, um, depending on device support, it can actually work offline. It'll cache all of the pages that you visit. So you can open up my site and you know browse the guide completely offline. I tried it on my phone, it's really cool. Um, so you don't have to, I might at this point put it on the app store just because I'm getting copycats. I don't really want to have to do that because I don't like having to deal with crap like that. I like my website. That's, yeah. But, um, yeah, that's that's a shame. But, um, yeah, don't use fraudulent apps. The fall event is coming. I would suspect by the end of the month, um, the, the first week of the next month is usually when Abyssrium likes to update. They'd like to do a monthly kind of update cycle. So expect the fall stuff soon. Um, it's gonna be a lot easier of an event. No, the Halloween thing is not coming back, unfortunately. Um, I think that's kind of a shame, but look at these sharks morphing to each other. Um, yeah. So see you next time and I'll try to show off the actual f f fall fish. I think it's actually a pretty good event. I'm, I'm pretty hyped. My mood is a little dour due to the whole Legal butt crap, but uh, other than that, it, it does look like a cool event. I just don't have it yet. <laughs>